Okay, let's go ahead and get you to improve in algebra fast. So is this even possible? Can someone go from struggling or failing in algebra to overnight, you know, getting A's in algebra? Well, sometimes, but that's pretty rare. What we really want to be talking about is what is the most direct path? What is the quickest way to improve in algebra? Okay, and quick doesn't necessarily mean you know, one day or one hour, okay, it could mean one week or one month, but, uh, you know, if you don't do these things that I'm going to be talking about here, you're going to uh, continue to struggle, unfortunately, in mathematics and in algebra. So we're going to talk about how do you go from struggling to algebra to doing well in algebra, and you can see here I have some topics. I'm going to be talking about this, but I'm, these are only some examples of some of the stuff, some of the topics that you learn in algebra, so don't get too tied up on these. I'll talk more about um, you know these topics and other things here in just one second, but first let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades, so all this advice I'm going to be giving you is, you know, been vetted through a lot of experience. But uh, over those years, I've learned that all students have the ability to do well, too well in mathematics, but it requires two things. One, you got to be willing to do the work. Okay, so if you're not willing to do the work, you're not going to be able to improve in algebra or be successful at anything you do. But the second thing you need is great math instruction, super clear and understandable, and that's where I can help you out. So if you're at the middle school, high school, even college level, I'm going to leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video uh, that you may want to check out. Also, if you happen to be preparing for any sort of test like the, uh, that has a math section, things like the GED, SAT, ACT, um, ASVAB, teacher certification exam, I can help you prepare and pass those exams. If you homeschool, I have great middle and high school um, uh, math courses for homeschoolers. And if this little video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that helps me out big time. Okay, so let's get into how to improve in algebra as fast as possible. Okay, so the first thing you need to realize that mathematics, uh, just like anything else, is a kind of, um, it's basically a series of skills that you learn, okay? So think of it as a skill ladder, all right? So in algebra, you know, you start off, generally speaking, most, most courses are uh, organized in chapters or units, whatever the case might be. So you, just, you start off with chapter one, and then you go on to chapter two, chapter three, chapter four, chapter five, chapter six, et cetera, and you continue to climb this skill ladder. So typically, when students are struggling in algebra, they'll uh, start here at chapter one, and maybe they do okay, okay? And they're like, well, I'm gonna move on to uh, chapter two. And what would be the expectation if you didn't learn things too well in chapter one? I mean, let's just think about it for uh, a second here. Do you think you're going to really understand chapter two? Well, no, okay? You're gonna, str you're gonna struggle, okay? And it's kind of like climbing up a ladder. You're gonna get weaker and weaker and weaker. It's almost like climbing a high altitude mountain. The oxygen gets less and less and less. This is going to be a lot more difficult up here than it is down here where the oxygen is more dense. Okay, So you have to have this perspective that when you study algebra, you literally have to be focused on the current skill set. You have to master the current skill set before you can continue on to the next skill set. So what ends up with uh, students that struggle are struggling in algebra what they've done, or they might be like here in chapter four, and basically they've been struggling since chapter one. Now here, let's just put some numbers here. Maybe they get like an 80, oh, let's say an 80% on their test. In chapter two, they get a 75%. Chapter three, they get a 70%. And then now in chapter four, they're at 60%. This is a very, very typical kind of... Um, series of grades that, you know, one could have if they're struggling in algebra. Okay, so now let's get back to the question at hand. How can you improve in algebra? What's the quickest way to fix this situation? Well, the quickest way is to get realistic, okay? And that is you can't uh, learn these other things in algebra. Everything builds upon itself without strengthening the things that you don't know. So you're going to have to go back and revisit these uh, more basic fundamental topics. And a lot of students don't want to do that. They're, they're here in chapter six and are like, I don't want to try to go back and relearn all these different things that I was struggling with. I just want to try to go from chapter six and finish the rest of the course. 
I'm telling you right now, that's not going to work. Okay. You're going to need all these skills to perform and do all these things later on. Whoops. Uh, in uh, your algebra course. Okay. So I think the first thing is to improve in algebra as quickly as possible. You need to have the right perspective, um, kind of, you know, the grasp on really what's going on. Okay. So if you truly want to learn the topic, there is no shortcuts. You're going to have to go back and strengthen these previous skill sets. Now I'm here to tell you as a math teacher, you don't have to be perfect in all this stuff. You don't have to get hundred percent in all of these, but you can't, all, uh, at the same token, have failed uh, many of these previous skill sets as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at how you could approach this. So let's um, uh, take a look at these topics that I've um, written in the beginning of the video. So ask yourself this, okay? When you first start learning algebra, do you understand like completely the basic concepts? Do you understand what a variable is? Can you work with basic exponents? Do you understand the order of operations? Okay. Uh, all these different things are super important. And, um, you know, it's kind of crazy that sometimes a student could just fix a couple misunderstanding uh, things that they really didn't get from the beginning of the course, and the rest of their algebra course goes smoothly, okay? So you never know uh, what skill gap you're, you're missing, but you need to go all the way back to the very beginning of an algebra course. Now, a good way of doing that is to look at your test and your quizzes, okay? And even a better way of doing that is go talk to your teacher and say, hey, uh, you know, uh, teacher, be like, can you kind of look at my overall performance in this course and tell me what you think my strengths and weaknesses are, you know, specifically with skill sets? And your teacher is going to kind of be like a doctor. They're going to give you a prescription. They're going to be like, OK, uh, you need to work on this, this and this and this you're pretty good etc etc right so you got to take inventory of your current skills and try to identify those weak points but i'm telling you right now if you're struggling in algebra go back and 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 start all the way back from the beginning but your test and quizzes let's say for whatever reason you can't um you know speak to your teacher or they're busy or whatever the case is you can look at your test and quiz grades those are going to be pretty good indicators and then look at your notes as well hopefully you are taking notes if you're not taking notes you need to correct that immediately okay note taking is such a fundamental skill that even if you start taking notes right now, that's going to start uh, helping you improve. All right. So what you do is you go back to all the previous things you've learned in your current math course. So start with the basics and then move on to something like, say, fractions. This is pretty typical for an algebra course. Um, so once you have the order of operations down, um, you know, make sure you can understand fractions. These are uh, fairly typical weak areas for uh, students that are struggling in algebra. Uh, typically, they're doing weak in these areas as well. So make sure you understand everything about fractions. Make sure you can work with the real number system. We're talking about positive and negative numbers. Okay, now you've totally got all this stuff down. Again, remember order of operations. That's another major area that students struggle in. And then once you have these down and you're like really, really confident that you understand all this stuff, go back and take a look at your ability to solve equations. Okay. One step equations, uh, two step equations, multi-step equations. Now, if you're interested in using my program, I have fantastic, super comprehensive um, algebra courses. Uh, my courses range from pre-algebra, algebra one, algebra two, college algebra, pre-calculus, whatever the case might be. Uh, so if you want to use my instruction, believe me, you're going to um, not only get full comprehensive lessons, I solve thousands of problems step by step, uh, much more than what I do on YouTube. So that's another great way of, um, you know, uh, getting a program that can assist you to improve in these particular skill sets. But after you move on to equations, this is, a, again, a pretty typical path for algebra students. Then you want to check your um, uh, your understanding for inequalities, and then you just continue to move through what would be a typical algebra course, your ability to graph lines, graph linear equations, write linear equations, systems of equations, uh, quadratic equations, polynomials, on and on and on. There is a lot to cover in an algebra course, but again, remember, wherever you're at, let's say you're in chapter 7 or chapter 8, if you haven't addressed these weak areas here, they're going to just snowball and you're, you're just gonna, not going to be able to continue on and do well. So the quickest way to improve an algebra is to take stock, take an uh, inventory of your current skill sets. You're going to have to be honest with yourself 
and get the aid of your teacher, make a list of the things that you need to improve and then start improving those things one at a time. As you start improving these um, misunderstandings and you say, oh, okay, now I know how to do fractions much better. Again, you don't have to be perfect, just improve significantly in these specific skill sets. Your overall ability to do algebra is going to uh, improve. And this is really the quickest way to improve in algebra. Okay, so remember, there are no shortcuts, but you can do this, all right? It's never too late to make um, significant uh, improvements in algebra, and I hope uh, I can be a part of that process. So a couple of recommendations. One, I have a ton of uh, videos on my YouTube channel that can help you out in my various playlists, pre-algebra, algebra one, algebra two, whatever the case might be. And of course, I have my full comprehensive math courses, which you can find by following the link in the description of this video. All right, so hopefully this uh, helped you out. Um, again, I like to kind of tell it as it is. You know, I'm not going to sit here and tell you, oh, you know, you can approve an ACE algebra in just, you know, one easy hour per day. No, you can do it, but it's going to take a little bit of time, so don't give up. All right, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.